Hey y'all, come on in, grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab your seat and come chill with me. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab a seat and come on chill with me. Hello, hello everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Taco Tuesday, get all that out the way. And you're going to see this shirt twice. And that's because I've done two videos in one day. So, there you have it. Now, I tried to make some tostada bowls for the first time. I don't know. First of all, I'm mad because my shelves was cracked up. And I didn't know whether to be mad at the store or myself. Did I do that when I was bringing them home or were they like that? So, I ain't tripped too much. Let's see. Tostada bowls. I don't know what the difference in uh, these, but you see they got uh, peppers, red pepper, green pepper, red onion, and sour cream, and taco sauce, refried beans, meat, hamburger meat. So there we have it. Let me get this blessing. Thank you for this food that I'm about to receive in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We here. Got me a nice cold Welch's grape. And I'm so mad. My little shells broke up, y'all. What are you gonna do? And then you can do. You know. Now, this is what I want to talk about. I'm just jumping right into the subject. This is what. I'm give you a bite. Get your bite. Okay. Mm hmm. Hmm. These beans, boy. Somebody gonna have a bad night. Wait a minute. I'm gonna have one too because he eating the same thing. My husband. Uh. There's gonna be a war battle under them covers. <laughs> I said that. But anyway, I just tore the edge right off. Mm -mm. Mm. That is good. You know. As I be driving up and down the streets doing whatever, and you know how you notice all the empty buildings, empty houses, some of which you knew have been sitting for, I'm talking over 15, 20 years, empty. No income coming in from those buildings. Houses, the same thing. Empty, 15, 20 years. Why won't the government just give people those things? Because you're not making any money off of it. You haven't made any money off of it. Mmm, them beans on here good. They got a little bite there. I hope it don't fall. Mm hmm. They're not making any money. So, why not give somebody who driving by and see it's empty halfway a Demolish, tow up, and they say, look, I want that. I have a business I can put here. Why they won't just give it to them? Now, not totally free. I'm not saying that. 
but some type of plan. That the people can make some type of payment plan. That the people can make to give the government, whoever, because you know they gotta get theirs, some of the power. But it'll bring <clears throat> businesses to the platform. You know, people have somewhere to shop and won't be all these vacancies to where you can get <clears throat> all type of people up in here, drugs and might find body, who knows? Let people get this stuff. There's so much talent out here that I haven't found out since doing YouTube. that there's no need for it but they will rather just let it sit there just let it sit there and rock i don't care who owned it it's been 15 20 years or plus i don't know what to tell you It'll make it safer for children in the neighborhood. Because they don't have to walk past all these vacant houses. If the house been vacant, and somebody got the money to fix it up, let them have it. And then make small monthly payments. You know, I'm here. I don't get it. So you're preventing more businesses from coming to the community because you don't want to just let somebody go in there and open up a business. It'll be more people that have places to stay. Because all these vacant houses wouldn't be here. Not the ones that's tore up and raggedy as I don't know what. But shoot, if somebody want it because they had the ability to fix it up, give it to them. Hmm, don't be selfish. Help people. Because mm -hmm. to me, that's ridiculous. Now, maybe somebody watching could explain to me and say, well, Maria, this is why. Because I'm not seeing the why. I can see the what's and what's happening. And that's, it's a waste. It's just sitting there. Just sitting there. I don't get it. And it makes me so mad every time I ride by. You know. Now you can't be up in there doing no illegitimate business, but you know, tell them what your business is. Have a plan, you know, something they can see maybe, like, okay, bam. You know, not just give it away, but they can see you got a plan. Mm -hmm. Maybe they feel like, okay, that's cool. I don't know, barber shop. Front store, to get knickknacks, whatever it is, boutique, who knows what it'll be. You know, because in reality, everybody don't have a lot of money to just, you know, 
get buildings and things of that nature. And this would be a nice opportunity for people. I would love <clears throat> to be able to get one of them vacant buildings and have it for shelter for the homeless people but have it set up to where they wouldn't have, because let me tell you what makes me mad. The people that, hmm, you know, people that have to go to like women's shelters or family shelters or whatever, or shelters, and you know you have to be back in by a certain time and you don't have no spot. And then they got to go try to find jobs, get stuff done, you know, Hope they make it back in time so they don't lose their spot. And you know what happened when they do? They jacked up and outside. How is that helping them? That's not helping them. But see, me. I read a nice building, a nice size. Basically cut it in half, not cut it in half, but one side be for them to live and the other side I have what they need that they would be going to catch the bus to go get, be it education, education, you know, looking for jobs, all that stuff already be there. A little computer room, look for jobs, you know. They wouldn't have to leave. But, now this ain't permanent now. You definitely have to be on your grind to take care of your business or, okay, you lose your spot. So this place will be to help people. It's not for you to just lay your head and just chill, kick back and think you're about to just relax. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. You're going to have to get some stuff done. Ain't no sleeping at 12 o'clock. You know, nope. Everybody up at the same time every day. You know, going to whatever you may need to do. You know, I don't know. I can't think right now. There may be a spot where you can get your GED. You know. Um, you know, the computer room will have everything you need to go in there and you'll be able to fax. You know, make phone calls. They have to worry about that stuff. Once they have to leave out, you know, it'll be somewhere where you can have your children while you take care of that business that's being washed over. And I know a lot of people probably listen to this like, hmm, that don't, it's possible. Anything is. That's my goal. I despise oh hold on I gotta get my thoughts together mm. having to see homeless people It ticks my nerves so bad. This is supposed to be the richest country in the world. We got homeless people. It 
this temple. You know, we'll have bus. Now, some places you do just have to catch the bus. Sorry. Some places they will just have to catch the bus. Catch, like if they have to go to Secretary of State, do something with their license or stuff like that. We'll have bus tickets or bus cards or whatever. But the whole point is to get people out of that situation. Not watch them, not watch them be in that situation. Some we can't help. I understand that. But there's so many out there that want help, that need help. But when you put them in situations where you really, your back is up against the wall, like I said, you know, you have to stand and get in line and wait hours to have shelter. Then the next day, you got to leave out to try to look for jobs, do all this and that other. Just to come back and they be like, mm, it's full. And I'm talking, I'm talking like hundreds of rooms for people to be able to sleep and lay their hair. And the program will have a limit on it, unfortunately, because other people need help. So, I don't know, something like three months, maybe. Once we fill with those 500, six months, three months, something like that. And then um, we start with a new batch of people that need help. Hmm. I don't know what y'all think. Am I talking crazy? People go to jail for leaving their pets outside, tied to trees. They go to jail for that. But you can let a human being sleep on a concrete ground for their life. Who go to jail for that? Who go to jail for that? Don't get me wrong. I don't want anything to happen to no animal or anything. But why does it seem like it's more to help them than it is to help a human? I don't understand. And you don't need a degree to, to, to know this. This is just common sense. That doesn't make any sense. And ain't nobody gonna be able to tell me that it do. No. Nobody. So hopefully before my heart stopped beating on this world, that's what I'll be able to do. But seriously, I want y'all to comment on that. Let me know what you feel about it. But I'm almost finished, y'all. Mm -mm. Y'all. Now, 
on another dog. I got a couple of challenges to do. But I had a nice little break away from challenges. So I'm back. That was pretty good. Mm, mm, mm. Them dang beans are already down there having a bean meeting in my stomach. Like so. She ate quite a few of us. So what do you think the plan should be? Should we kick her right off with the gas right away? Should we hold back? Let it build up? Let her stomach swell? Feel the bubbles going around? Then just hit her with the... What should we do? I know them refried beans don't act up. <laughs> I just thought about what I said. I'm done. I'm done. Mm -mm. Not another bite. So, for anybody that's watching and you have not subscribed to MRTV, please subscribe. Join the family. Hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. Give this one a thumbs up. Share the video out, comment, and like. Thank you so much, y'all.